Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am doing another video on reusing, repurposing, and today I'm going to show you where this little container is coming from and how I made this little gift set of thank you cards so that you can repurpose, reuse some of the things that you might find around your house or in your kitchen. Let's get started and I'll show you how I did it. So this is what I started with, and this is what we are going to reuse or repurpose today to make that cute little gift set. This is um, Maxwell House's Chai Latte, and they have a whole bunch of coffee ones like this, but I don't really like coffee, but I do like chai. So I picked this up, and it was filled with this stuff, which I poured into a bag, because really all I was looking for was this container. <laughs> Hopefully you'll do this a little different. You'll like find containers around your house that you can reuse. But I went out and purchased this so that I can show you a cute little idea with it. So I do not need this lid. So I'm just going to set that aside. But I am going to use this cute little container. And the Maxwell House um, containers, this is not, it doesn't seem to be paper wrapped around here. So I kind of cut it a little bit and it didn't really come off. Um, so I'm just going to leave that on here. And since we still have our buy three get one free designer series paper promotion, I wanted to use one that um, was available with that promotion. And this is the Petal Garden designer series paper. Oh my gosh, this is one of our little six by six stacks. Let me see if I can get this out here a little bit better. Look at how gorgeous this paper is. And I love the colors that they've chosen to use together too. So that's the paper stack that I'm going to be using for this gift idea. Let me see if I can get these back in here. There we go. So I originally um, measured my container and this one, this one is about two and a half inches and I took the Petal Garden Designer Series paper and cut it two and a half inches. It's got this little lip under here, so that's going to slide in there so nicely. I'm really, I'm very happy about the way this is going to work out. But because this isn't 12 by 12 paper and it's 6 by 6 paper, I'm going to need to put these two together. So I thought, how am I going to do that? Well, good old scotch tape. How about that? I think that will work perfect. Now you want to make sure that this isn't going to be hanging over. So I've got my two pieces here, and I'm just going to match them up. So I butted them up against each other, and I am going to take my paper snips and trim this tape off so I can't see it on the other side. And that matches up pretty nice. And now we're going to tuck that under that lip a little bit wrap this around and give it a dry fit first and it is going to overlap just a tiny bit now one thing that really kind of perplexed me is I can still see this blue under here but don't worry about that because once I get this on here I'm going to just slide it down a little bit so you can't see that and it still is tucked under that rim so you can't see it up there either and I think this is perfect now, if you wanted to, you could put glue all over this container, but I'm just going to pinch it really tight here, and I'm going to use another piece of tape because I do not think, yeah, look at you can't even see it. It's perfect. So why complicate things when you really don't need to, and how cute is this now? Then... Um, one of the colors in the Petal Garden is Calypso Coral, and that's one of the reasons why I love Stampin' Up! products. Not only are they very good quality, but all the colors coordinate with each other. So I'm going to take this, this is the Sheer Ribbon, and it's eighth inch wide, and it's Calypso Coral, which is one of the colors in the paper. And I'm going to use my bow tying jig, and I'm going to tie a triple bow here. So I've got three times I've wrapped that around. You cross it over, tuck it under, and bring it back over and tie yourself a triple bow. 
and you just tie it in a single knot right here in the front. I've had people ask me about these bow jigs, and I said, well, maybe I could get my husband to make some. Well, he's busy hunting, so forget that. But um, you can make yourself one. Usually they have nails in them. But these two holes are one inch apart, and then each hole after is a half an inch and a half an inch. Just take a little block of wood and drill some holes in it and um, use nails, the nails that don't have the heads on the top. and um, Or these little tiny dolls work fine too. But you've got yourself a bow jig, and they're super easy to make. Anybody could make one. So here's our cute little triple bow. And I'm just going to cut that off. Careful with these scissors because these little buggers are sharp and they're pointy and they'll make you bleed. <laughs> so I guess they're doing their job, right? <laughs> they can be dangerous. Oh, hang on, I got some tape stuck to my finger here. Okay, so now that I've got that done, I'm going to grab myself a mini glue dot here and put that bow right on the front of this container. And I think that's going to be a perfect, easy little embellishment. You notice how I kind of squiggled that glue dot up so it's not sticking out? I don't want it sticking out all over the place. Isn't that? It's adorable and super easy. Okay, let's get on to what we're going to put inside of our little container. Here comes our note cards and envelopes, and you get 20 note cards and 20 envelopes that are the size that they'll fit in. And once you fold these, they're already scored for you, so you just fold them in half, grab your bone folder, and give them a good burnish, and you have this little note card. These are five by three and a half. These make a perfect little gift. So I am going to show you what I did here. I've got all of these pieces cut and I just took different patterns out of the Petal Garden paper stack. And I am going to Add those right to the front of my note cards. So this is a really quick and easy project. This piece is, uh, let's see, three and three eighths by four and seven eighths. So it's just an eighth of an inch smaller than the note card itself. And then I've got the coordinating pieces. This one is a half inch. And then I use some crumb cake cardstock that is three quarters of an inch. And all I'm gonna do is lay these together and I'm going to cut them at a slant, super, super easy. And then I'm just gonna offset them a little bit like this. And I'm gonna put them right on my card front. So, let's see, is that gonna be a little bit too big? Mm, I think that'll be fine. And I alternate between tape and glue. You know, whatever works best for you. I really like this liquid glue because it works nice for me. And I'm just going to put some glue on there and add this to the front of our card just like that. We're going to do a little bit of stamping here before I go any further. I should have probably done this first. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit discombobulated, I guess. I chose a basic thank you set um, because I think giving a gift set of thank you cards everybody needs thank you cards everybody needs to thank somebody for something right because we're surrounded by nice people in our lives I took the all things thanks that's hard to say and I'm gonna use the thanks for that thing you did I'm using coordinating ink this is the sweet sugar plum I decided that I'm gonna make two sweet sugar plums and then I'm gonna clean my stamp off this is our stamp and mist and our stamp scrubber, one of the sides. And I'm going to bring in Calypso Coral because that's the other coordinating color that I'm using for my note cards. And I'm going to stamp a couple of those. I'm using the Stitched Shapes um, framelits here. 
and I'm going to take this over to my Big Shot and I'm gonna die cut all of these and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna bring in the Leaf Punch. My friend Rose made the most beautiful card using the Painted Harvest stamp set and this matching Leaf Punch and she used the Leaf Punch on our vellum cardstock and put those on her card and I just thought that was such a soft and elegant way to decorate up a card and it's simple it doesn't add any bulk right so it's not going to cost you any more to mail it and I decided that was a great idea for this card too so before I put my dimensionals on there I am going to get my little leaves ready because I'm going to pin them down with the dimensional Oh, I kind of punched that one wrong. We'll get rid of that one. So I just punched a bunch of them out so I could just keep moving along here. And I'll put a dimensional right there. And then how about another one right here? Don't forget to stick your fingernail in the middle of those dimensionals. Push down because that'll lift up the edges and make them easier to take that backing off. That's just like a fabulous tip. Here we go. So I gotta make sure that my leaves kind of did this wrong. Let's pull that out of there. <laughs> I'm gonna stick, stick this right over here. There we go, that's better. I forgot, you don't want your leaves sticking off the edge because then it won't fit in your envelope. But how simple is that? That is just super easy. You saw me make it. There's nothing to it. And then I'm gonna give this just a couple more little details. Also in that same, same stamp set is the you are the best, you're the best. So I'm just gonna take that and stamp it right in the middle there. And I'm going to add a strip of the coordinating designer series paper right down here at the bottom. And I do this because it dresses up the inside of the card. It makes your project more spectacular and it's super easy, right? How cute is that? Okay, let's keep going. I just wanna show you how easy this is to make up a little gift set like that. So here's the next set that I have. Bring in my note card. Now burnish that edge. Let's just stamp that inside right away. This time we're gonna go with the Calypso Coral right inside here. Here's the little piece for the inside. This is only a half an inch wide and I'm basically cutting these out of the scraps that are left over after I cut my front pieces for these note cards. So, and then I just trim them off. You could cut them the right length if you wanted to, but it's just easier this way. And then, here's a little tip. Before you put that front piece on, the, on your card, we're gonna do the cutting and the gluing here. And I'm just gonna bring in, bring in my glue, kinda offset this a little bit. It's easier to do this this way than the way I did I showed you the first time but either way works fine and I'm just gonna set this right on here now see the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I can cut this edge off easier and make sure that it's lined up good and here's one of our Calypso coral thanks and I'm going to bring in my leaves and make sure I put them in the right place this time because I can be a quick study. <laughs> I don't want to mess that up twice, right? Okay, that'll work fine. Another dimensional right there, and then we'll put one on the other side. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, oh, these are so pretty. They're just so simple. And elegant, and I think the designer series paper really does it too. Oh, I'm 
the little leaf embellishments, those are, you know, they kind of do something for it too, right? Here we go. Here's our second one. Super quick and easy. Oh my gosh, look, we have two done. Aren't they pretty? Let's do our little angle thing. And we'll put a little glue right here. little glue right here. And rather than just showing you the finished project, I keep putting these together because I just want you to know how simple and fast this is. I mean, I came up with this idea. It didn't take me very long because, again, you know, the designer series paper is amazing. So that's where I draw my color combos from. And then you just kind of figure out what you want to do. I knew I wanted a greeting. I knew I wanted it to be a thank you card. Oh, we need to stamp the inside of this one. I think I forgot to stamp the inside of the other one. There we go. And then I've got the little strip here that I'm going to put on the inside to decorate that up. And this is just a half an inch piece and you can do, you use your scraps for this, but it really does make the inside look pretty too. There we go. And then we've got some more vellum cardstock leaves here. And make sure they're coming off my little piece here the right way. Do one there. Come on, there we go. And one over here. So here's my big question to you. Who's going to run right out and buy some of these little coffee containers so you can make stuff like this? Another really good idea. This would be a great gift for a coworker too because this is something easy that you can put together. All right, here we go. I had this one made before. This was my sample that I went, hmm, what am I going to do? Get all this out of the way here. So I've got this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Now what are we gonna do? Well, let me show you. We're gonna take our cute little note card envelopes, and I'm going to do alternating colors here, because I'm like that. <laughs> These will all fit right in our little container. And we have six by 17 inch cello bags. I just put them on my order form because I did not have any left, but they would fit a lot better for this project than this one. This is one we don't sell anymore. This is like, I don't know, three by nine or something like that. And it's pretty tight for this, but the six by 17, would be perfect because it'd give you a lot more room to get this stuff down in here than what I'm dealing with. So just know that when you put your order in, you're going to want to order the note cards and envelopes and then the six by 17 inch cello bags because that's going to work a lot better for this. Here we go. Almost got it. Yeah, see how I'm kind of struggling to get this in here? That's because this bag is a little tight, but it's going to work for my purposes. And probably what I'll do is when I get my order in, <laughs> I'll take these out of here. I'm also going to use the same ribbon to tie the top of my cello bag because it matches and it's cute. And why wouldn't I, right? I'm just going to tie this in a cute little bow and, of course, make it look a little prettier. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Ah, this is going to be perfect. Oops. And there it is. This is my repurposing for the week using this little container with our... Petal Garden Designer Series paper. 
Calypso Coral Ribbon, All Things Thanks Stamp Set, Note Card and Envelopes. These are great. You get 20 in a pack. They're awesome. And this is going to make a wonderful little gift for somebody. Who am I going to give this to? I might take this with me to Salt Lake City in a couple weeks and give this as a gift to one of my Stampin' Up! friends. They'd love that, right? So there you go, another idea on repurposing containers. You know, there's just tons of things you can do with containers that you have. Don't throw them out. If they have any option of getting into your stamp room, go for it. Turn what would otherwise be trash into a great gift. Repurpose, reuse. I like this a lot better here than in a landfill, right? Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. You can also check out my blog where I'll have all the product numbers and more photos for this project at www.astampabove.com. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always willing to help. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Check back with me on Friday where I'll have another video coming to you. Bye-bye.